Well, as it happened, my uh, little business venture wasn't quite as successful as I planned. Reviews were mixed. Of course, everyone praised the fantastic views. But while some praised the beverage service, others found the drinks to be a little too strong, going as far to as describe them as rocket fuel. Everyone, however, agreed that its remote setting and high-tech materials left it lacking atmosphere. I was sure that business was starting to pick up, but then I was hit with a number of violations of the ADA code for accessibility. After consulting with professionals, it was discovered that the substandard wiring was incapable of powering the extra accessibility hardware which would have been required to bring us into compliance. Without the money on hand to upgrade ourselves and keep the thing in business, we had no choice but to shut down and sell the establishment to another buyer in the hope that we could at least pay off some of our creditors. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. Hello and welcome to LanguageCraft for a Kerbal Space Program video, which is, well, uncommon for this channel. It's mostly Minecraft, cinematic stuff, a lot of time lapses, a lot of team builds, things like that. But once in a while, there are other videos, like, well, Let's time lapse, but obviously there has been SimCity and Democracy 3. And now, Silverlight Inc. has acquired this space station. Uh, this guy called, called uh, Scott just handed it off to me for a low price because apparently he doesn't know how to run a proper restaurant. So, I mean, come on. Anyway, so I've got this hunk of junk. Uh, it's got some wiring problem, it said in the description, but it doesn't really matter, I think. Who needs wires anyway? We've got lights, so obviously wires are fine. Anyway, so this is the International Space Station, the Deep Space Station. Um, I have in the past participated in a French uh, station that was, geez, two years ago, something like that. And now we're on to the international one, so it's actually an honor to come after Scott. Um, and we have this impressive core that was made. And then we have, let's see, this is Chicken Keeper's uh, fuel module, I believe. Uh, I may have all the names wrong. I don't know who put up where. I watched all the videos at the same time. And then we've got Scott's romantic getaway up there with Bill and Valentina. Wasn't Valentina supposed to be with Jebediah? Anyway, so now I have a module to put up there because obviously this isn't in working condition. It doesn't work as a leisure destination so I think we're gonna have to do something else and it obviously it doesn't work as a kind of public location in any case with fuel no one stops here no one grabs fuel here so you know what we might want to take advantage of that remoteness so to speak yeah let's try something so I actually think I could get you know, a contract from a government for a spy module, something like that would work really well. So let's get building. I'm gonna put a seat in just to be sure. And then I love this idea of having a huge antenna hidden away so that when it opens up, not only does it ta -da, reveal it, but also it kind of adds to this opening effect that that uh, antenna already has. For the rest, it's honestly going to be a lot of decoration, obviously. Uh, we have bits that look like or that are actually antennas like all of that for um for mining and everything and then around that like at the bottom those are just scientific modules here obviously this drill is not going to be useful however it looks like something that extends and grabs data something like that um i really love this idea and just thought i'd add parts here and there and then added everything to the same control group. So this is a small module. Everything went pretty fast, but I think it's going to be fairly effective at what it's trying to put across. And three, two, one. <laughs> Not quite the right timing, but anyway, it's a very slow ascent uh, at first. We have a quite a big pail. Let's see, we've got a mass of 270 uh, tons, which is insane. Um, and so that's going to affect our ascent profile that 
I mean, you'll notice that it's very, very, very far from being perfect, um, as we're still at the 90 degree mark right now. So we have our boosters that we got rid of, and now we're just running off that one mainsail engine with two huge tanks on either side. And so, in theory, you remember, in, until very recently, until 1.0, uh, 15 kilometers up is where you should turn and go to 45 degrees. Right here, I did it at practically 20, whereas now you should pretty much do it gradually from the get-go, from the very start. Um, but yeah, this is just too heavy and I was going to lose too much momentum. So here you see that I've rotated 90 degrees so that while I dropped those, they fell on either side and not kind of one underneath, one above, because since I'm not perfectly um, along my, uh, what do you call it, along my burn marker, there is a risk that they would hit me. But everything is well, we are now in, uh, we're circularizing the orbit, which is not perfect, I kind of messed it up, but I at least wanted to have 120 uh, thousand meters both ways. And now it's time to reveal the ship. And something terrible has happened. Great! Um, <laughs> so yeah, as I revealed, as I got rid of the fairings, kind of got rid of the cloaking, um, the Clampertron fell off. And the Clampertron is what was supposed to hold on. T I mean, that's you know, just underneath there is a telescope that was supposed to hold on to there. So what happened? So yeah, we just lost our radial, um, whatever you want to call it, and our docking port. So this is the part of the module which you know, and this is what why we wanted the shroud. This is a spy module, so obviously we want to hide it away from prying eyes. And we feel that, you know, at 120,000 meters, uh, it's fine. It's, it'll be hidden away. No one will be able to see it. However, this telescope, uh, and this was something that the government agencies specifically wanted, this part is a telescope that was supposed, supposed to be attached onto here. So we'll put it up anyway, but we don't actually have another docking port on it to, uh, to kind of replace it. So not too happy about that and uh, yeah and let's address I forgot to talk about it previously I didn't have time actually the for the ascent uh, it was very smooth but I will agree that it was a little inefficient because my um, I mean I, my gravity turn was extremely late however um, I don't think that was a bad thing because uh, because we um, we would have had to uh, we would have had to refight against the atmosphere. I tend to always find that those big ships are better with uh, late gravity turns. All right, so I just pushed my periapsis above 120,000, which means that we can warp 100 times, which isn't fantastic, but uh, it'll. I mean, I didn't want to go all the way out to 240 since. This is pretty much where I want to be. So I'll just fast forward this until the actual space station itself swings around here. And the aim is to, I mean, hope, I guess, that around the same time it comes around, we'll come around and we'll just boost until our own apoapsis is way out there. And then we'll be able to dock. And this should be much more efficient than if we go out here and try to find it somewhere else. This, uh, yeah, this should be much better. Oh, no, I hadn't paid attention to this at all. I'm not on the same... Uh, uh, I'm not at all on the same plane. Let's see, set as target. I need to add a maneuver. And do something along these lines. So, point one is not very good. You know what? I'm, I'm not going to do that at all. I'm just going to go for it and then change my axis um, yeah. so what I want to do is add my maneuver here and then just go for it I think uh, yeah 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, wow, it's really at the limit. Okay, so something like this should work out, and then... Oh wait, no, I'm way too far. Now see, this is why 3D environments are so hard to control. So this is close to what I want, and... That's about it. Mm, yeah, that's gonna be a problem, actually. Um, can I... This isn't gonna help me at all, no. Alright, well, I'm going to have to stick with that, and then somewhere around here, just bring it down. This is going to use up almost all of my Delta V, so I'm hoping I'm not going to have a problem. Um, I am thinking, however, that we have a lot of RCS, which we haven't touched, and all of this are... I mean, this RCS won't be used for docking, because it was supposed to be, but since we're dropping the telescope we don't need it anymore so we'll use this to finish our maneuvers and then we do have a little bit of rcs on here which is on a, a disposable oh no oh no wow okay uh yeah yeah that settles it um we don't have any electricity because i am a dumbass and I forgot to retract the, I mean, to extend the solar panels. Oh, I can't revert the flight. No, oh, this is a problem. Um, what if I quick load? Where was my last? Oh, wow, it's right there. Um, and if I launch a new one, it's going to go from here. This is not, no, this is not good. I'm going to have to launch another one, aren't I? Okay, we're going to launch another one. I do suspect, however, that I will have the same problem for the telescope, so I'm not really counting on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, well, huh. All right, well, I will meet you, uh, meet up with you in space. All right, so new launch and a little, uh, a model that's a little bit different. You'll be able to see that when we kind of zoom in uh, once in a while. But the, there you go, see the lower stage is all 3.75 meter parts, because I figured ugh, I might as well stick to big parts like that. And I also have a kind of an intermediate uh, stage, one that has four small engines on the sides. I figured that would be a lot more efficient than keeping that huge tank for the duration of the mission. So now I am, so of course this uh, threw a wrench in all of this uh, mission because I now have to catch up to the station whereas originally I was supposed to just kind of come alongside and say, hey, I'm your new buddy. So I uh, see, I'm slowly catching up to it. I am not doing a very good job, I've got to admit. I'm, uh, I'm not bad at Kerbal Space Program by any means. I'm definitely not an expert, that's, that's for sure. Um, but still, I'm struggling with this encounter. I just can't manage to uh, to grab the station uh, or to get an encounter. And I don't know if that's going to be a major problem in the future, because regardless, I am about to find out that there is another problem that is actually not my fault. <laughs> uh, but it's it's a bad one. It's a, it's a really bad one. So fun story, I just told you that I had a big problem. I didn't tell you what it was yet, um, but it turns out I don't have it. <laughs> um, I was going to run into the moon. You see this, uh, this asteroid, this station has been put on such an orbit that once in a while it intersects the moon's orbit. Um, and that happened to me, or at least that was actually, you know what, let's just F5, just in case. It looked like it was going to happen to me. Oh, there we go. It is going to happen. So do I still have an interest? All right, let's keep going and see what happens, because I had previously loaded and unloaded and everything. Um, and so what is going on now? Ah, see, now the station, is it going to run into, yeah, the station disappeared. See how that happened? So we have a problem. 
because our mission was going so well, just so, so well. But it turns out we have to save it. We have to save this station, otherwise it's going to crash and burn. Ah, so not too happy about that. Um, I, ooh, oh wait, I had an intersect there. Because what I'm looking for is I'd love to have my module up there before I save the station. Because that means I'll only have kind of one module to adjust instead of two. Oh, come on. Ah, all right. I think we're going to go back into fast forward and just making pauses once in a while. Ah. Wow, this is crazy. This is a tiny intersect, tiny window. Or, eh? No, this doesn't change a thing. This is really weird. Um, so, my first objective is obviously here is where we're going to intersect Moon. And that's in how long? That's in 22 days. So, basically, I need to grab onto the station before we get to there. And also before we get there... I need to have some kind... Oh god, that's gonna be hard. I need to have some kind of other module that's gonna dock to it and maybe have it, like... Oh, well, wait. I'm, uh, I'm just thinking. Do No, I can't even, because what I was thinking is... No, wait. Oh, I can't. <laughs> Sorry, the, the process I was going through was... Can I use this to move the station? I was thinking, well, I can't because there's only the one uh, docking port. And then for a second I thought, no, never mind, I can just undock this, dock it somewhere else, and then dock this somewhere and push it. However, there is no control or probe or anything on here. So once this detaches, this is dead in the water. Um, pretty much. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit longer than planned. Alright, final approach, we now have our encounter, and as you saw, I, for so, I mean, look at this, how are we supposed to make any kind of nodes or anything with this? We try to get something over here, and in the end I thought, you know what, just, let's go for it. And I used the good old technique of just going for it, and uh, just pointing straight for target, and in the end, here we are. Just needed to make sure we weren't too, too far off to start with. So here it is, sorry if the FPS are a little bit down, but some people, not naming names, actually it's everyone, have started to go overboard. So I'm, God, I, I'm really sorry for whoever's going to come after us, uh, or after me. I'm, I'm keeping my part, I mean, I'm staying to the limit, which was 50 parts, I think, and we're at 18. This, I think this is going to be, uh, no, is this 18? Oh, I don't know how this works, if it's the current stage or the last stage. Okay, so right now we are looking at, how are we doing for, oh, all these are full? Oh, we're fine. So we have, I mean, look at all the fuel we have left. I knew I had too much Delta V, but I didn't know I had quite that much. Okay, that's F5. Now, one thing that I'm wondering is this station, uh, oh, what, am I inside the, oh, God, inside the asteroid. Do I want it down here or do I want it up there? I'm thinking down here might be better. Sure, it's going to be obscured, but 
I'm thinking if someone wants to extend, they'll definitely want one of those. And I don't necessarily really need one of those. So let's just, what is this? This is, yeah, no, let's just leave all that together and decouple node. Now we are still controlling from there. So that's perfect. RCS back on. And so we, there we go. Just ditch that. And we're staying behind. And we want to dock on to say this guy. Set as target. We want to control from here. And let's go for it. So first thing, I mean, obviously this is something that I'm going to do in, uh, what do you call it? In fast forward, because docking is often a right pain. Woof. All right, this thing is actually a lot more manageable than I thought, but still docking tends to take a long time. I mean, I guess it depends who it takes a long time for me. But this is actually a little cool little ship in a way. All right, let us dock. Come on. So I know I should, all right, let's turn off. Oh yeah, turning off SAS really hurt, helps. And we are perfectly oriented. Perfect, look at that. Okay, so now what's the next step? Is to hope that no one else is, let's see, what did I put it on, one? Uh oh. One doesn't do anything, so did I put it on two? Two doesn't do anything. Three, no. Four, five, six. Uh oh. Six did something. Did I just undock something? No, we're fine. Release, we so. What? Uh oh. Uh oh. How weird. It's still locked in though, isn't it? Oh, okay. All right. Wait a second. So nine was, wait, this, it wasn't, yeah. Nine was the one. So what we will do, however, is I'm, I'm honestly thinking of qu quick loading just to make sure. You, you're all fine, right? Yeah, you seem to be okay. All right. Never mind. So, all right, let's do the reveal. Three, two, one, press nine and everything deploys jeez i didn't expect it to be quite so violent everything at once wait why did my lights turn off do we not have enough um we don't have any electric charge don't okay that's a problem we can't turn either let me get where are you uh valentina leave seat Oh, okay. Let, let's get you back inside. There, right here will be perfect. Come on. Grab and board and... So, sorry, let's see. Let's extend these panels again. And I think what we're going to try to do is simply turn the whole thing, rotate the whole station. Wow, there's no way this is happening, is there? Because we're being blocked by the by our own asteroid. I'm actually wondering if this isn't the only thing with your with RCS. And do we have an engine on here? Wait, we have an engine. Where's this engine? Hmm. Well, God knows where this is. That's too bad. I wanted the big red effect here. All right, well, what we will do, however, is get rid of this. This was only, I mean, we don't, we have RCS somewhere else, right? Ah, uh, not really. Okay, never mind. We will keep, uh, we will keep it until we get rid of it. 
if that makes any sense. We're going to keep it until we transfer everything over. All right, that's one ejected. And there's two ejected. All right. So I'm really looking forward to having those red lights back. But meanwhile, this is our kind of secret module. And this actually looks kind of good. Oh, and it connects. Oh, not quite. I was going to say, of course this is done on purpose. This looks good. This looks like a support. Perfect. Okay, so there is our module now up on the space station. And let's have a look at the situation. We are... Yeah, we're going to... What? What? Yeah. It's not quite sure what it wants to do. So, see, if I go here, that's 21 days. And here, that's 21 days as well. Oh, huh, interesting. Okay, so we need to do something quickly or we give the baby to the next person so just for the fun of it i wanted to see what happened if i had it go through the atmosphere and surprise surprise this really rugged uh kind of security and spy uh part is the only one that survives almost intact to be honest Let's see inside yeah we're fine inside i could even s oh no we're not fine we lost the antenna inside. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so we're not going to do that. I was wondering if I could somehow turn it so that the asteroid would take the brunt of the heat. Turns out, not only does the asteroid um, blow up, which is new and weird, but regardless, we are slowing down way too much to ever hope to go back in the atmosphere. So let's quick save and... Ta-da, everything is fine. We are still in the atmosphere. Just want to check that all the connections are right because something, are we? Ah, see this, I wonder if I did this. Because right now we're attached here, but not there. Oh, so, wait, what? Somehow, no, this can't be right because all of this is one ship. Well, that's very weird. Well, let's just hope that through sheer moving around and everything, this will connect again. Oh, God. I'm not sure this is a good thing at all. And I don't know if there's any way to make this better because I quick saved. So this must have been when I was messing around with the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the quick commands. Ah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. <clears throat> yeah. And here we are for the end of the episode. In the end, I won't be saving this station myself. Uh, or at least not in this video, for two reasons. A, this video has gone on long enough, let's be honest. And B, uh, I'm leaving on a trip. And if this video is to be out on time, I can't do it. However, I may end up publishing another video. Uh, or else the next person will do it. It's not that hard to do. It's not as though I were saying, Hey, here's this big mistake I made. How fun! No, this is a uh, kind of a, a problem with the station itself. I did build like a whole launcher and everything that would just come and grapple on the side here. And it has big rockets and everything, so perhaps someone will want to use that. Or perhaps I will use that, we'll see. But in any case, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. So we have the restaurant down here, and we have my little module here, which is kind of cool. I would love to see all the lights. Uh, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to be possible. I don't think there's any way for me to rotate. Like, yeah, no, see, this is not working out at all. And even if I turn on the RCS, would this, this turn at all? I'm not even find, I'm not even finding a way to see how in which direction this turns and obviously I can't use um, physics warps this would destroy everything since since all the solar panels are really close by because see if I had a solar panel here problem solved but I don't I do not all right so that's maybe another problem with the station anyway all of this is fine. This is supposed to be a remote location. No one is supposed to actually see it. So perhaps this perhaps this is perfect. It's far away. Maybe, maybe the only problem is that we can't see the planet from here. But hey, 
Let's not worry about that. We have the money from the governments. We'll be fine. All right. Well, thank you all for watching. If you're interested at all in Minecraft cinematics and things like that, that is my specialty. And, well, I'm very, very curious to see which module the next person will put on if, if I decide to sell the station. Because let's be honest, this is pretty cool. All right. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.